Hello, my friends. It's Poet WP. Today I'm going to share with you a poem that I wrote in the old fashion that I used to write. Back in my barfly days when I was drinking like a fish as a lifestyle choice. <laughs> you got to understand, I come from a culture much like the Australian working class culture in the South where power drinking is a rite of manly passage. All the men around me were burning candles at both ends, smoking two packs of cigarettes a day or so and drinking heavily every day. And most of them died when they're in their mid-50s or late 50s. My stepdad died when he was in his late 50s. He was burning a candle at both ends. He was a workaholic, he was an alcoholic, and he smoked three goddamn packs of cigarettes a day. And it killed him at 57. My father, he was not as... My father was a gentle, kind soul, thrown into a strange culture that he reluctantly fit into. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on about my father. That's not why I started these videos. But my point is, um, I came from a culture of hard power drinkers. Where the 18 pack of Bud Light was for pussies. Like in one setting. You, you do 18, you drink 18 in like, I don't know, like eight, six, seven hours. Right? That's for the lightweights, right? For the real pros, it's the 24 pack and the pint of Jim Beam all in one setting. Right? Like I, I never, I, I, I would, I would see my like my stepbrother would, would drink like that, a lot, all the time. Uh, so I've seen some crazy shit, people insanely drunk. Um. And that was part of my culture. That was part of the fallacy of the, male ego based southern, hard drinking hot rod building uh, culture that I grew up around. Uh, well, I, I used to go to the bars a lot and I would always write best when I was drunk in the bar surrounded by people. Zoned into my little bar napkin. Well, I went to the bar about a month and a half ago and I relived my past a little. I didn't drink no 18 Bud Lights. I never drank that much like that. It was the others that... I, I drank within extreme reason, <laughs> not extreme excess. So anyway, I went and tied one on proper at the bar. Don't worry, I got a uh, ride home. Don't drink and drive, kids. It's super stupid. Don't do it. But anyway, um... I went and tied one on proper and wrote it out on a bar napkins like I used to do, right? <laughs> well, I've been meaning to type this up forever, and I, I've been so busy. I just So I just wrote it out, right, because it's easier to read than all these silly napkins. Sorry for my misspellings, you know. Not everybody who's not a good speller is stupid, okay? But, um... So, yeah, I wrote this. I completely channeled this in the zone... Zoomed in, zoned in on my little napkins, writing this. This was like two Jack Daniels and six Bud Lights in. <laughs> That's where I stop. Eight drinks is my maximum intoxication level. I don't go after that. I know I can drink two Jack Daniels and uh, six Bud Lights and not get horribly hungover and, and get drunk as shit. Anyway, so I wrote this drunk as hell channeling in the bar on a bar stool after six beers and two Jack Daniels. The ego must be distinguished from the heart, is what it's called. <clears throat> Destined for disillusion, the souls of the mutually disenfranchised distribute themselves sporadically and with the winds of discontent. 
Don't dissuade your dignity. Don't let them compromise your soul. Distinguish clarity. Your ego, distinguish, distinguish clearly your ego from your heart. Don't display your insecurities on your sleeve. Find your meaning in the stillness of your mind. Find your wholeness in the stillness of your mind. Don't allow the world to obliterate your state of mind. Find your meaning in your greatest state of happiness. Don't discriminate. Your essence transcends this. Your essence transcends this space and time and will find itself in the moment of recollection you will not allow yourself to experience. Distinguish the peace of the moment from the fears in your mind. Then dispel the root of the fear. You may recollect a sense of deja vu and that will remind you of the moments you remembered your nature yet betrayed it. You will be coming back to what you know and find it so inviting. So, you know, check into that wherever you will. <laughs> it means something to me. Maybe it means something to you. I don't know. I was just drunk writing a poem <laughs> on bar napkins. <laughs> As a dupe. Okay, once I don't do it much anymore, though. I, I rarely get drunk anymore. I, it's just, you, re, you get at a certain age, you just, you've been there, you've done that, you know, and it's over. You don't need to do it all the time you know, anymore, you know. It just gets fucking old after a while. But I was reliving the glory days a little bit. I was reliving my early 20s with this, this bar napkin, drunk, bar napkin drunken poem writing exercise. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I could share it with you. I hope you can dig it. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.